What's up guys and welcome to the support video. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the Quest 2, more specifically the Quest 2 controllers. I'm going to teach you how to pair and unpair the controllers. I'm going to teach you how to set up hand tracking and some of the gestures you can use while using hand tracking, aka our built-in controllers, our hands. So why don't you grab your controllers, hit that subscribe button, and let's get started. So now if you're having any issues and you want to unpair your controllers as a troubleshooting step, it's actually pretty simple to do this. You're going to go ahead and, and grab your phone. You're going to go into the Oculus application. On the very bottom, you're going to see an option that says devices. When you hit devices, it's going to bring up the Oculus Quest device that's connected to your account. Quest 2 more than likely. You're going to go ahead and hit that option. You probably will see a controller option there giving you the ability to unpair the controllers. If you don't, you'll see an option that says finish setup. Up. so you can just go ahead and tap that finish setup option it's going to go ahead and pair the headset directly to your mobile application once that's completed on the bottom you'll see an option that says wi-fi or controller issues then when you select that it'll give you the option to pair the controllers if you tap the pair option if the controllers are already paired to your quest 2 it's going to go ahead and unpair both controllers from your headset giving you the ability to repair them now, as simple as it was to unpair the controllers, repairing them is just as simple. Now that the controllers are completely unpaired from the headset, the mobile application will now give you prompts on how to repair each controller to the headset, starting with the left controller moving to the right. It's going to tell you to press and hold two buttons at the same time. You're going to wait for the LED light on the controller to blink, finalizing the pairing. You're going to hear vibration come from the controllers and the application will then confirm that the controller is connected and ready to be used you follow the same process with the left and right controllers once both controllers are paired you're all set to go so now if you're ever having an issue with your oculus controllers you can unpair and repair them through your device to establish a better connection also make sure to check your batteries oculus will give you an indication when your batteries are running low but when it comes to troubleshooting any issue like i like to say kis keep it simple check the batteries now that your controllers are in perfect working order what if you want to use those built-in controllers we have our hands oculus the quest 2 does support hand tracking even though it's still kind of in the experimental stage it actually works pretty well now to initiate this you're going to go ahead and throw on your headset tap on the oculus icon on your right touch controller which pulls up your universal menu around where the time is you're going to go ahead and tap there which will bring up the quick settings then you're going to tap on the settings panel tap on devices and then select hand and controllers and go ahead and toggle hand tracking on now just keep in mind that if this setting is on your headset will automatically switch between using your hands and your controller based on if you put the controllers down or if you pick them up now as for what gestures are supported when you're in hand tracking you can actually pinch and point which will select something you can pinch and scroll up down left right to navigate through menus or you can bring your palm in and pinch to bring up the different oculus home menus so you can navigate to the area that you're looking for now again keep in mind that even though this feature is available on all the headsets it's still technically in the experimental stage so your mileage may vary when using it on different apps applications that are not oculus related so now you know exactly how to pair and unpair your oculus touch controllers and how to set up hand tracking on your quest 2 you're going to be a quest 2 expert in no time guys thank you so much for checking out the video as always all written explanations of everything we've gone over in the video will be available in the description down below so you can check those out if you enjoyed the video if you found it helpful at all consider supporting the channel and there's many ways you can do that one of the easiest ways is to like share and subscribe there's also a link in the description if you want to further support us become a member we we truly appreciate it as we strive to be the number one online source for consumer tech support for the non-technical. Until next time, guys, remember to stay safe, stay technical, and when it comes to troubleshooting, always KIS. Keep it simple. Later.